just took a look at using the custom head component from Next in order to add a link to reference a style sheet, as well as add a title to our app. However, there's a more convenient way to get access to the head as well as all of the HTML document. Next makes this available as a custom page. So it can be added in the pages directory as underscore document.js. This allows us direct access to the HTML document where we can do stuff like work with the head and even work with things in the body. So for our document, we need to import a few things. First, document, as well as head, main, and next script, all from next slash document. We'll create a class here. We'll call this my document, and it's going to extend a class document. So we don't need to bring in React, but we do need to use a render and return, like we know how to do with the normal React class. We can return a set of HTML tags. And of course, we need to add the head at the beginning. And in our head, we can include a lot of, us, of the stuff that we added here. We can't include a title. The title has to be added on a component by component or page by page basis. But in the document, we can add a link, any link that we want. So we can take this link and put it here. We can also add some meta tags, some useful meta tags, particularly useful for SEO. We can add a description a description meta tag, the content of our site can be listed here. We can say that our site is a site for my programming portfolio. We can add essential info about the site, like the character set that's being used, which is UTF-8. On the HTML tag itself, we can add a lang attribute to specify the language, for example, English. And we can add some meta information that will communicate directly to the robots, the crawlers that are going through our app to figure out its content. We can add a meta tag with the name of robots. There's another one for Google bots, for the Google crawler specifically. The content here will be no index no follow so we can tell the crawler that we don't want our page to be indexed you can add a useful meta tag for users on mobile phones the name for it will be viewport here we have a content that says that the width for our site should be equal to the device width so it's mobile compatible this can be put on a mobile device with no problem so after the head, we have the body tags. And here, we need to include the main component that we imported for all the main content, as well as the scripts included with next script. And here within the custom document is a great place to apply some global style. So of course, we can include some styled JSX. We'll add style tags with our JSX keyword. And we can write some styles maybe that change the body. So we'll add a global keyword. And say we want to add a custom font okay, from Google. We can go to fonts.google.com, select a font like Roboto. You can grab its link first and put it within the head. Make sure that ends with a trailing forward slash and you can specify the font family for the body as Roboto with a fallback of sans serif. And finally, now that we've done all that, we need to make sure that we're exporting it so we can export it immediately with export default. So we'll save all that and close this. If we refresh, might need to restart the development server or changes to take place. You can refresh the page. We see our font applied. So the custom document is a really great place to put 
content in the head for SEO that's not page specific. For example, a title would need to go in the head component within say a individual component like layout. If you want things to persist among all your pages to modify the HTML document itself, use the custom underscore document. <laughs>